Welcome back, I'm back, and uh, tonight we start a new game series here where, uh, you know, for a while I had been interweaving Saga Frontier and Saga Frontier Remastered, but we finished both of those. When I finished the original Saga Frontier, I started weaving in uh, the Musashi series. Um, we're still going to keep working on uh, Samurai Legends Musashi, but since I finished Saga Frontier Remastered, now we're going to, st we needed something else to kind of weave in between. I like having two different uh, long plays going at once, just so you can kind of keep things a little fresh. So um, interweaving between uh, Brave, or Samurai Legends Musashi, uh, we're going to be playing the Fantasy Star series. And once I'm done with Samurai Legend Musashi, provided there's no new Musashi game uh, released between then now and then, um, I'm going to uh, go back and forth between the Fantasy Star series and the Shining series. So um, I figured those would be uh, different enough to 
still be interesting. Um, I put out a poll a while ago on which version of Fantasy Star we would play, and this was kind of the one I was hoping would win. It's the Sega Ages version on the Switch, so I get the uh, nifty real-time map on the side of the screen uh, while I'm playing, so that's kind of cool. Um, 2, 3, and 4, uh, obviously we're going to have fewer choices, but I do have all of those on Polymega, and then I also have the uh, um, Sega Genesis collection on the PS4 uh, for those options. Um, I also do have every single American released game in the Fantasy and Shining series physically, but I prefer very much to have a way of saving at any time and quitting so I don't have to wait until the end of a long battle or sequence or dungeon before I can save and end for at the end of the night for a live stream. So... Oh yeah, um, so the Polymega, they're, they're starting to finally catch up with their uh, uh, pre-orders. Um, that 450 bucks though gets you Saturn, PlayStation, Neo Geo, uh, Sega CD, and Turbo CD for the just the base module. Then you've got the uh, um, four cartridge-based modules for NES Famicom, Super NES Super Famicom, uh, Genesis 32X and Mega Drive, and Turbo Graphics uh, Super Graphics. Um, and there's a Nintendo 64 module uh, in progress. So there's a lot of stuff and those those additional modules are like I think 70 bucks if you buy them separately it's probably best if you just do the deluxe that comes with all of the modules um, but I am really looking forward to the Nintendo 64 module because that's still a bit of emulation that is really hard to, for uh, emulators to do right and part of the point of Polymega is that they get in there and tweak the emulators that they license um, to have as close to perfect compatibility as possible and then they don't stop. They keep trying to improve it as they go along. They even rewrote their own um, uh, Neo Geo CD BIOS so that it would load faster. Um, and the Genesis emulator they use, uh, is a flavor of, is a 64-bit version of Kega Fusion that, uh, the original author of Kega Fusion assisted them with, uh, porting to 64-bit. So, you know, they're, they're basically going on the whole, um, Good emulation is indistinguishable from uh, FPGA or real hardware, and that's where they're trying to uh, to get to. Yep, yep, exactly. Um, and uh, the chief tech officer is active on the Polymega Discord, so there have been occasions where he's, you know someone's voiced an issue and he's like all right great i fixed it it'll be in the next patch <laughs> so uh it's been really interesting uh talking to him he he actually used to work for uh um insomniac back in the ratchet and clank days on the ps2 so they've actually got a lot of industry veterans over at Playmaji working on this thing um, to make it the best they can. And uh, they're 
uh, they've got plans for expanding it without like doing modules for it too. I mean, obviously uh, they can add more CD-based consoles uh, as at any time once they've got an emulator in place. But um, the CTO uh, Eric has been talking about uh, getting the uh, Famicom Disk System memory unit working with the NES module and um, possibilities of a an add-on for the Genesis module that would let you plug in uh, Mark III SG-1000 SMS uh, and my card games. So they've they've got lots of plans. They they're like, yeah, we're 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 in this for the long haul. Um, they're going to be doing an online uh, store soon. Um, so uh, the the disc based systems do read copies which I actually um, took advantage of that to import my digital libraries from like the PlayStation Network and uh, stuff like that into the Polymega. Um, uh, stuff like EverDrive doesn't really work because it's uh, doing the whole import into internal storage thing. It comes with um, a 32 gigabyte drive or internal storage that's got like eight gigabytes free, but then it's got uh, an M.2 SSD slot and an SD card slot. So like I've got 1.4 terabytes of free space uh, or of space in my Polymega. And m I'd say about a solid terabyte of it is still free after importing hundreds of PlayStation discs. <laughs> so you can put a lot of extra storage in there. Cartridges obviously take up almost nothing. But yeah, it's a beast of a machine. And uh, I'm glad I got in on it when I did, when it was just like $600 for the, uh, for the deluxe. Five or 600, something like that. Um, so I got all four of the base modules and the, um, the system itself. So good stuff. The only complaint I have is that the, the, uh, base module, uh, dual shock like controller, the D pad is ass, but, um, it's easy enough to, uh, just plug in a controller adapter and use a dual shock or dual sense so good stuff i definitely recommend picking one up when you've got the cash for it um it's very much worth it um i mean if if any we uh the, the people on the polymega boards just kind of laugh when people are like well you could do the same thing with a with a raspberry pi no you really can't <laughs> because of all of the specific work that they do on their emulators, it's just leagues ahead of... It's, it's also very simple. I mean, you fire it up, you pop in a disc, it imports it, you can play it while the disc is importing. It's just plug in and go. It's so nice that way because Raspberry Pi stuff, you have to wrestle with it and then you have to tweak the emulators and yeah. <laughs> but um, uh, moving along here, um, the last of the interesting sodas that I picked up from uh, Blue Sun last week while I was on vacation is Pedro Punch. I, I wanted to try a uh, fruit punch flavor, and this is one that I haven't sampled yet. So we're going to give this a shot here. Oh, kind of worries me when I don't hear a pst when I un when I open it up. Oh yeah, that is flat, which is a shame. 
because if this had more fizz, it'd be pretty good. It's a good fruit punch flavor. Yeah, that's definitely a shame. Good stuff if it, if it wasn't so flat. <laughs> but yeah, so basically right now I can play most of my uh, uh, retro library between the Steam Deck, the Polymega, and when I get the um, Analog Pocket in, that'll cover almost everything. And then uh, I still hope eventually to get my... Uh, um, Pi 400 working properly so I can use that for emulation of um, retro microcomputers but that's just been kind of frustrating alright aside from all of that let's get started with Fantasy Star It's a rare moment where I'm actually using my Switch on stream. I generally... I almost never touch this thing. So that was another kind of a good reason... Good uh, thing about playing the Switch version of this is that I get to actually fire up my Switch. For a, uh, a major purpose here. All right, we are definitely going to play ages mode. Um, I just want to make sure that my uh, that the settings are still in place. Yep, good. We are definitely going into ages mode. So. Opening the pause menu in a game will automatically create a continue save the next time you boot. You can select continue at the start menu. Nice. Um, oh, cool. It's got the FM music. Also, um, they said that the uh, um, encounter rate was lowered and the rewards were increased for this version. So, yay. <laughs> Space Century 324. Oh, 342. Caminate on Palma. Scum, do not sniff around in Lazak's affairs. Learn this weapon lesson well. Nero, what happened? Don't die. Alice, listen. Lazak is leading our world to destruction. I tried to discover his plans, but I could not do much by myself. I've heard of a great man with a, a man with great strength named Odin. Maybe the two of you can stop Lassic. Alice, it's too late for me. Be strong. Blech. I'll make sure that my brother died not in vain. Watch over and protect me, Nero. Do 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 do. Ah, here's the home of Alice. All right, great. Dive into our uh, dungeon here. Check out the map thing. Sweet. I just loved these dungeon crawler things. That's kind of why I, I wanted to do the uh, um, Shining series. Although I've already done both of the dungeon crawlers in the Shining series. There's a treasure chest. Of course I want to open it. 50 mesetas. So I do actually, like I said earlier, I own the uh, physical versions of all of these games. Um, but obviously I wouldn't get the uh, FM version of the music playing this on my... Uh, uh, playing the US version of this. I'm Suelo. I know how you must feel, dear. 
No one can stop you from doing what you must do. But if you should ever be wounded in battle, come here to rest. Please rest yourself. You're welcome here at any time. Okay, good to know that that's the healing place. And then I'm guessing I just go to the church there if uh, someone's dead. You need a dungeon key to open locked doors. The Kameny residential area is under martial law. Ooh, that is a weird eccentric orbit for uh, that one planet. Nope, I guess I have to come up from in front. If you want to make a deal, you should head for the port town. Good to know. Nope. Yep, you already said that. Okay. Did I go in here? Do you know about the planets of the Algo star system? Let's say no. There are three planets, Palma, Motavia, and Azorus. Palma is a world of green. Motavia is a world of sand. Dezorus is a world of ice. The Algo star system is currently facing a great crisis. I actually have played this on stream before, but I only played up to a certain point because I needed footage for a video. Uh, this time I intend to actually go through and play the whole thing. I'm Nikis. One hears lots of stories, you know. But some say that a fighter named Odin lives in a town called Scion. Also, I have a Laconian pot give, given by Nero. That would be helpful to you in your task. I wish I could help you more. I pray for your safety. Okay, what's the Laconian pot? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, whatever. <laughs> that's kind of cool yeah um the whole uh you know leading lady thing is kind of awesome in some dungeons you will not get far without some sort of light i actually did play all the way through zillion um on a live stream a few years ago it was my uh, 50 subscriber victory dance. That was fun. Ah, uh, pressing the wrong button. Okay. Flash escape or transfer. Okay, I don't need any of those right now. But yeah, I grew up uh, playing um, uh, Impossible Mission a lot on the Commodore 64. And I liked the similarities between uh, Zillion and Impossible Mission. Okay. So one thing that I like to do when I'm uh, kind of grinding in an area is I grind until I can buy the best thing I can buy. So we're going to grind until I get 1400 meseta. Um, I need to see if I have a leather shield yet or not. Nope. Okay. Oh, she's got a shit sword. Um... Okay, well, we can afford the leather shield, which is probably why we got the 50 meseta. Um, item. Whip. There we go. Good, good.
head to the clearly marked exit. And let's see here. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is so nice because some of the spells get really obscure. Okay, cool. Um, Laconian pot. Oh, doesn't really tell me anything. Okay, well, I was hoping just to save. Well, it did say that it automatically saves when you go into the um, menu. So it was kind of funny. The first time I played this, I died on my first battle. Which probably isn't too terribly unusual for this game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, fortunately, the uh, healing lady is right here. Let's go outside and see if uh, the enemies out here are any better. Swarm! Oh yeah, that's much better. Of course I want to open it. I wish there were weapons I could buy in this town. So now I am actually kind of... Uh, you know, regretting the uh, lower um, encounter rate here. I didn't think it would be this low. Alright, well, let's go around here and see what we can find. Well, but like I said, they did make it easier for this version. Um, to a certain extent. You know, less monsters and uh, better drops. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we need another thousand for the uh, Zirconian armor. Good to know. So we need 2,400 and we've only got 32. Odin set off to kill Medusa. He went with an animal that can speak. The animal had a bottle of medicine hanging from its neck, but I don't know what that's for. A cave called Ayala can be found on the peninsula to the south of Sion. I recently found a talking beast in the cave where Medusa lives. I sold him for a good price to a merchant from Paseo. You need a compass to pass through the Epi Forest. Okay, good to know. Second hand shop. Flash transfer. Oh yeah, the secrets. <laughs> Love that it's just, you know, an option in the menu. This is the port town Scion. Long ago we thrived on trade. Now we just suck. There's a hill na named Baya Malay to the north of this town, but none of us dare approach it. Uh, no, I do not need help. That, that don't feel bad. I'm I'm just I'm I'm in good shape right now. <laughs> A door locked with magic can only be opened with magic. Is 
They say that there are Motavians living on Motavia and Dezorians on Dezoras. I'd sure like a chance to talk to someone. <laughs> well, leave your house. There's plenty of people in this town. A cave called Naula lies on the north coast of Baya Malay. Okay, I think I've talked to everyone here. Uh-oh. Someone tell this man-eater I am no man. <laughs> oh, this better give me a good, uh... 12 XP. Advanced to level. Good. Treasure chest. Give me triple digits. Ah, 52. That's not bad. Alright, let's get back to uh, our hometown here. Kamenit, I think it was. Get free healing. I want to scrape together every single penny I can. Or meseta. I wonder if that was a tip of the uh, hat to the popularity of this in uh, Portuguese speaking areas. I love how stuff like currency names carry through series. Oh, a cave. Like, um, you know, Zenny and a number of different Capcom RPGs. Gil and Final Fantasy. Gela in uh, Wild Arms. Cannot go forward, it's pitch black. Okay, well, I guess I do need to purchase Flash. Oh, another town. The path in the woods is unclear. I need a compass for this. Got it. I don't want to get too far away from Kamenit. I'm just trying to press buttons, um, so don't mind me. Oh, there's another cave. Big club. Okay, I'm not even going to uh, pretend that that's going to go well. Nope, still pitch black. I, I do kind of wish that that map in the corner would turn into a world map when you're overworld. Having it tell me on which planet I am in the system is a little less than helpful. Scorpion is killed. 16 XP. Treasure chest. 52 more meseta. Nice. Kind of nice that the uh, meseta counter is on the right, so I can easily see how I'm doing there. So yeah, the first uh, couple of hours on this are going to be... Uh, not that interesting to watch, but over the past, how many years have I been doing this now? Four years or so?
No, that's not going to happen. Uh oh. Over the past four years or so, I've gotten pretty decent at, like, jabbering my way through boring stuff on games. Chat with my peeps. You know, I should just do an in-game save here. We'll save the game in progress. You selected one, is that okay? Well, saving one. Okay, now I feel a little bit better. Man, I don't even have enough to uh, buy, like, the second tier items that were on sale. So those were in the 300 range. Hi, Siren. Oops. Sorry, I stuck my thumb directly in your ear. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I don't want to get too far away from Kamenite. Oh, hey! Oh. Yeah, well... You're also not letting me open it, so... smooth transition uh, musically from dungeon to overworld. Uh, stop it with the owl bears. Can't handle these yet. Oh, I wonder if this ends up being like a different town. Nope. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Alright, let's start from here. The forest is a dangerous place. Yeah, no kidding. From the spaceport, you can go to Paseo on Motavia. This is Parola to residential area. Okay, I hope that this shop has weapons. Or this town has weapons in one of its shops. Okay, I don't want to buy... I do want to buy the magic lamp. Because then I basically don't have to worry about lighting anymore. Well, I'm glad it's a first food shop and not a used food shop. Ugh. Oh, sweet, a tit sword. Um, okay, this is going to be my first stop. I need to do more damage. <laughs> so, 1120, and then I should be able to come out on top over uh, any owl bears I happen across. We're owl exterminators. To the east lies a port town called Sion. Yep, been there. Medusa has been reborn and lives in a cave to the south. If you see her, you will be turned to stone. No, I won't. Medusa's magic doesn't work on women.
You're going to hijack mythology. Do it right. <laughs> and I'm just going to top off my health here. But yeah, I think I need more attack power before I need more defense. See, with the lower encounter rate, I can walk very, very far, and then by the time I get into a scrap, I'm in an area where I can't handle the enemies. I think they went a little too far on the uh, lower encounter rate. Opposite extreme. I don't want the original encounter rate. Not at all. But it did make leveling up a little bit faster. Oh, there's a pair of them there. Wish I could target my uh, attacks within the group a little bit better. Swarm is killed. 16 experience points. Advanced to level. 24 meseta. Underwhelmed. Okay, we're under half hour here, so let's go heal up. All right, you know what? We leveled up. Let's give this a shot. Because if I can pull this off, probably going to be a good chunk of hip, uh, um, XP and meseta. Hey, there we go. Yay, Owlbear is killed. 20 XP. Treasure chest. What do we got? 48 meseta. I've had better. For less trouble. Huh. Oh well. At least now we know we can do it. Come at me, bros. A couple of swarms. Yes, I want to open it. What do you think I am? As far as I know, there aren't, like, trapped chests in this game. I mean, it's kind of insane how in uh, RPGs, monsters are carrying cash. But it's even more weird to have them carrying treasure chests around. <laughs> That's where Final Fantasy XII made a lot of sense. Um, the uh, Basically, enemies didn't drop cash. They just dropped... Um, you know, items that were only good to sell. So that's how you got your cash off of combating enemies. Wow. One-shotting swarms now. Nice. Advanced level. Ooh, learned a spell. 
What spell did we learn? Heal? Oh, bitchin'. I'm gonna use my zero magic points to heal myself next chance I get. Although, if I rest, I would probably get uh, some magic points. getting close. There we go. <laughs> okay, still got to be careful around those owl bears. Making progress on my pocketbook, though, so that's nice. Boop, boop. I'm watching the uh, um, waveform here while I sing. <laughs> That's just fun to play with. <laughs> I'm glad there was a, uh, a plug-in that could bring that idea to fruition. Wing Eye. Two of them, no less. How do we do? Oh, yeah. We're good. <laughs> We're dodging attacks. Okay, I do have magic points. 16 XP. 48 Meseta. Nice. I'm going to take a look here. Heal costs two magic points. Okay. Gotcha. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Nah, I'm good on hit points. I can also throw out uh, two heal spells before I'd have to recharge. There was an option for a faster walk speed. Might be interesting to give that a shot. Nicely done, Alice. Okay, you go ahead and magic yourself some hit points. There we go. Hey there, Infamous. Welcome, welcome. Uh, not too bad. Um, honestly, the biggest problem right now, weirdly enough, is uh, the reduced enemy encounter rate of the uh, Ages version here. Um, I'm sure I'll, I'll appreciate it more when I am not trying to grind. But here, when I need to, uh, it's just a tad irritating. Okay, so I'm trying to remember where I'm, like, storyline where I'm supposed to go next. Yeah, like I said, it, you know, th the original encounter rate was stupid. Um, 
Oh yeah, that's right. I need to go into one of the uh, caves. I think I will uh, foot the bill for a... Uh, um, flash here. The original encounter rate was stupid. Um, and this is like stupid in the other direction. <laughs> that was, yeah, it, it was, it cracked me up too. It's fantastic when, you know, uh, oh yeah, no, let's not try that. It's fantastic when, uh, the creators of, you know, a movie or whatever have such a solid handle on what made it successful that they don't even need to try to replicate it. <laughs> that advertisement was absolutely perfect in tune to what, uh, you know, the Deadpool movies feel like. Yeah, <laughs> it was kind of funny. He's like, yeah, sure, Ryan. <laughs> Okay, hopefully this isn't a limited time thing. Whoops. Let's go ahead and save. Okay. Treasure chest. Yes, please. Okay, so there are trapped treasure chests. You know, I probably should have gone back and healed before I did this. Oh well. Twenty Maseta. be a man who has been turned to stone. I wonder if he can be returned to his original form. Okay. <laughs> Had to try. Yeah, the minimap thing is one of the main reasons I, I was happy to play this version of this game. Um, but yeah, I, I love these uh, first person dungeon crawlers in the, uh, you know, from this time period. Shining in the darkness, shining the holy ark. Unfortunately, I think I've tapped out the, uh, shining series for those. Okay. Okay, well then I guess all I need to do is come back here when I've got um, whatever it is that will uh, free him from his perpetual rock hard state. here and heal. <clears throat> we also got some cash out of that. About half of the way to uh, the sword I want. I don't think I do. No, I don't.
Another thing I enjoyed about this series is that, it, you know, yes, you're using a sword and shield and, you know, stuff like that. But it is still, you know, a futuristic setting. Just all through the series, especially once you get to Fantasy Star Online. Which I will be playing. I haven't decided which version I'm going to play, though. I have uh, episodes 1 and 2 for the Dreamcast and the Xbox. And I kind of feel like the Xbox might be the better option of the two. The uh, GameCube version is too expensive, uh, mostly because it's instrumental in a um, hack that lets you play GameCube ISOs streamed over the network adapter, which is why the network adapter is also extremely expensive. learned another spell. Neat. Ow. That was rude. Take a look at the new spell in a moment. I'm gonna go back for a fresh heal. But yeah, it's kind of funny because like the GameCube version of uh, Fantasy Star 1 and 2 edges up to $100. I got Fantasy Star uh, Episode 1 and 2, and then also the, the Dreamcast to get both. Um, well, uh, Episode 2 is quite a bit more expensive than uh, the original Fantasy Star Online. Um, the Xbox version, once I found Fantasy Star Online 1 and 2 for the Xbox, 10 bucks. <laughs> Dirt cheap. Kind of hilarious. I thought it said I learned a new spell. Hold on. Um, this button. There we go. Oh, okay. So I might have the buy spell or possibly also the chat spell if I've uh, I got level six. Let me take a look at my stats here. Level five. Okay, so I have the buy spell, which makes it easier, yeah, to um, escape. But right now, I'm, for the most part, I'm not in a lot of danger of running into stuff that I can't escape. But it's good to know it's there. Okay, a pair of owl bears could potentially do it. I really do wish they'd let me focus on one or the other so I could kill one of them quickly and not get attacked twice per turn.
Alice and Owlbear cannot understand each other. That'll do. Good. Got one Owlbear down. Hey there, Drex! Good to see ya. I hope your evening's going well. <laughs> Drex, how many times do I have to tell you I'm a poor substitute for your wife? <laughs> Um, actually, let's go back to Kamenit, get some free healing. There we go. Getting close to, uh, being able to buy that new weapon. That'll be nice. Yeah, let's uh, take a small step back on that and uh, buy another flash. Go in that other uh, cave and see what we can find. What do we got? Oh, just a single hour, but owl bear. We're fine. We're owl exterminators. There we go. 20 XP and 48 Meseta. Already uh, recovered from uh, the purchase of that flash. Another swarm. Oh, one shot. Nice. Give me the cash. Cannot go forward. It's pitch black. Oh, and I bet I don't have the key to uh, open that door either. Okay. You know, if I haven't made much progress tonight by the end of the stream, I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do some offline grinding. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind grinding a little bit on stream, but this is one of those games where you basically have to do it right off the bat. Okay, that one wasn't a problem with light. It was a locked door. Okay. Well, to that, I say, bam. Yeah. Last time I played this, uh, on stream is the original version. Oh, yep, got to use a key here too. Well, that was a um. I don't know if this is going to go well. Uh, hello. Yep. Getting out of here. 
Initiating the getting the hell out of here maneuver. Bond. Alice's hope cannot overcome the power of Lassic. The adventure is over. Oh no. I really can't remember. It's been a long time since I've played the uh, PS2 Ratchet and Clank games. Um, I vividly remember having problems with Jack 2. Like, there was this one uh, defense mission that I just could not get past. You're going to play the uh, PSP titles in the series, Drex? I think there was uh, Size Matters and Secret Agent Clank. Actually. Uh, is that here? Nope, it's back there. Uh, I've got... Uh, I picked up a... A uh, demo disc of uh, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters for the PSP while I was on vacation. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I'm, I'm glad to see that you've kind of uh, gotten back into a groove with all of that. You definitely seem more excited about your uh, streaming schedule than I've seen you in a long time, and that's fantastic. Oh, sweet. You gonna give that 140 a try? Um, so that one, it's really fun. It's very stylish and uh, very um, aurally satisfying. Because, like, everything goes with the beat of the background music. It's not a rhythm game. Not... Precisely, it's more of a platformer, but it's pretty fun. Yeah, it's frequently like two bucks on Steam. <laughs> In fact, I bought it for Steam a while back, finished it on Steam, and then it was on sale on the PlayStation Network for two bucks. So I bought it on the PlayStation Network and finished it on the PlayStation Network. <laughs> I'm looking forward to my uh, DL Sember. I'm still going to do that this year, despite the uh, focus on the demo discs. And uh, I've got a plan for um, playing a game that, you know, by then I should have my uh, analog pocket. And uh, I intend to play a game for DL Sember on the Analog Pocket. Ooh, 52 Masetta. That's a pleasant surprise. I guess going uh, going further on the um, no save thing. After you finish the main uh, like the the main set of levels on 140, 
there's another section that you can go to where it's the same levels reversed with no checkpoints. So like if you if you fail on a level, you have to go back to the beginning of that level. I noped out of that right away, but uh, you might enjoy that as a bit more of a challenge. I do enjoy saying the word meseta. It's, I, I was actually thinking, you know, as I was talking to townspeople, that this game has a lot of satisfying names to say. Oh, place names, people names. Okay, so that is probably the... Um... What was the other spell? Now, what level are we now? Level six. So now we've got the chat spell. <laughs> well, unfortunately, again, you don't have to do them to get to the uh, final quote-unquote boss of the game. I think they might have also changed the translation of some of the uh, spells for this. Because there's fire, wind, and thunder. And I'm pretty sure most of the spell names were a little bit more weird than that on the original version. Whoops. Ah. There we go. 862. We're getting close to buying our first new uh, weapon. Not our first purchase, because I bought the leather shield right off the bat. But, yeah, by the time I get to uh, um, Fantasy Star 3, though, you know, we'll be playing non-remastered versions of the game, so it'll have the weird spell names. Being creative is good. Being so creative that it confuses people is not good. Of course, I think that um, the way uh, Final Fantasy started doing it with Fire, Fira, Firaga, you know, that sort of thing, that was very clear, oddly enough, and uh, hard to duplicate without directly stealing it. <laughs> I guess it's very similar to the whole, uh, um, you know, crack, crackle, cut crackle thing from uh, Dragon Quest. Now, this isn't going well. I, I don't think I understand what you're getting at. Like... Female characters I have an affinity for in each generation? Oh, Fantasy Star 3. Okay. 
Um, I have not played much of Fantasy Star 3. Uh, I think I might have, like, played for, like, 15 minutes and then that was about it. That's one of the reasons why I like doing stuff like this on live streams is it's more incentive to actually finish the game. No, I do know that, uh, you know, I, I mean, the subtitle is Generations of Doom. I do know that you have uh, um, multiple generations to work through and things change based on who you uh, pair up over the generations. Um... That's a gameplay mechanic. That's not really a spoiler. <laughs> Come on, hit the one that's almost dead. Thank you. There we go. 40 XP and 96 Meseta. Let's go get a new sword. Might as well heal first. Since I'm going this way. Yeah, I think I've given more of a chance to four over the years, but even then, I don't think I've played more than an hour of it. Like, honestly, the uh, um, two or three live streams that I did of Fantasy Star a couple years ago, um, no, I've probably played more Fantasy Star online than that over the years. Actually, I think I finished Fantasy Star Universe. Yes, I want to buy something. I want to... Oh, crap. I had that wrong. It's 11.20. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. Need another hundred. <laughs> yeah, I found uh, three and four relatively cheap um, loose a while back. And, you know, given that series reputation for being pricey, I did not want to look a gift horse in the mouth. Oh yeah, that's right. I picked that up from uh, from Matt. Yeah, I was hesitant on pulling the trigger on that because I have it digitally. But buying it from uh, from a friend kind of pushed it over the. Uh, Okay, well... <laughs> I know you. If you do ever decide that you want to get um, Fantasy Star 1, there's been a copy sitting at... Um, well, it's been a while since I've been there. 
but uh, there had been a copy of Fantasy Star 1 sitting at... Um, New Wave in Kenosha for several months. And it's not that it's a, an unreasonable price, it's like 90 bucks complete in box, or, or maybe it was 50 bucks loose or something like that. It was about right, but it's, you know, one of those things that's a bit obscure for the general clientele. Um, the easiest way to find it digitally is through the um, oh, what is that? The Sega Genesis collection on the PS3. Um, you can unlock it as an optional, op optional playable title. There we go. So we got our first bit of grinding done. The cartridge at uh, New Wave, or... So I think the cartridge at New Wave might have been loose. Yes, I want to buy that uh, Cyclic Redundancy Check Sword. Now I'm going to one-shot those damned owl bears. Equip. There we go. Sell my old sword. Hey there, Seabass. Yeah, um, I was just talking about how I actually own the physical version of this, but I'm kind of glad that uh, when it was put up to... Um, uh, Twitter poll that this version worked. So we've got the, the nifty stuff on the side. What? I can't sell here? Oh, that's right. You have to go to the secondhand shop to sell. I'm going to sell you my shit sword. Yes. Yep, that's the one. Welcome to the stream, by the way, Seabass. Good to see you here. This is the uh, first of many <laughs> Fantasy Star streams. I intend to go through the entire series over over the fullness of time. Well, yes and no. Um, I am having a little bit of a trouble with the fact that uh, with the, the sudden extremely low encounter rate it's making it more difficult to raise money for new items. I think they could have done a good uh, halfway point between what it was and what they changed it to, and it would have been just fine. And I never really played this as a kid. <laughs> 
I picked this up when I was uh, building my collection as an adult. I didn't have a Sega Master System when I was a kid. I had a I had a Commodore 64. Okay. All right, the next thing that we need to save up for, I believe, was here. No. This is also one of the few times that I've used my Switch on a live stream. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that was the thousand I was thinking of. Okay. So. Actually, uh, we're going to aim for that secret next. And then the thousand for the zirconian armor. I, I I did um I did have the Fantasy Star collection for the Game Boy Advance uh at one point, but uh I still never really got into it. <clears throat> As for the Sega Genesis collection for the PS3, I've basically made it a point to buy every one of those every time it comes out for a new generation. It's just one of the weird little collector quirks that I do. So I've got like the Sega Mega collection and the Genesis collection for the and the Sega uh or the Sonic Mega collection and the Sega Classics collection and the Genesis collection for the PS2. I've got the uh, Sonic Mega Collection and the uh, Gems Collection for the Dreamcast and, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm one-shotting owlbears. Now we're really owlbear exterminators. Nice. Yep, I intend to get through all of them eventually, though. I mean, I'm, you know, still going to take my break next year, but uh, I might still do the occasional... Uh... I don't know who told you that. You'd best forget it. What? I couldn't even buy the secret? Okay. Do -do -do. Wipe you out. Definitely a uh, game where a, a good offense is uh, makes up for a bad defense. Wow. Okay, I'll take it. Bye-bye, Siren. Okay, let's see here. Oh, advanced to level. Yay. This is going to go a lot faster now that I've got more firepower and more hit points. OK. 
Okay. Trying to figure out what the next part of the, uh, okay, here we go. You attempt to purchase the secrets. The owner will refuse to sell it to you. Ask him again, he'll refuse again. Ask him again, and he'll finally give up and sell it to you. Oh, I just have to, uh, be persistent. Gotcha. Oh, I'm supposed to just get off the planet as soon as possible, huh? Alright. No, I'm pretty sure Meow is in this game. <laughs> uh... Siren had her dinner just a little bit ago. Um, she was cuddling on my lap for about an hour before the stream went live. Tell you, no can do. Go back to wherever you came from. Alright, alright, I give up. But don't tell anyone where you got this, okay? There we go. <laughs> yeah. He'll deal. You may proceed. We You can file for a passport here. Do you want a passport? Yeah. You ever done anything illegal? Nope. You currently have an illness? Nope. Passport fee is 100 meseta. Would you pay it? Yep. Your passport is ready. Here. Wow. Took a lot longer to do that in real life. Nope, I don't need food right now. Airport food is uh, probably not that great anyway. What's this? Oh well. Uh, let's go from here. Nope. Okay. I don't think so. In fact, I think Fantasy Star came out about the same time as Final Fantasy. Um... So let's see, Fantasy Star was December of 1987. And Final Fantasy... Was... okay. Final Fantasy released December 18th, 1987. Fantasy Star released December 20th, 1987. They released within two days of each other. Good lord. <laughs> um, Fantasy Star was originally launched to compete with Dragon Quest.
and the uh, fusion between uh, medieval fantasy and science fiction was inspired by Star Wars. But yeah, it was just basically, hmm, people are enjoying these RPG things. Let's uh, make sure there's one on the Sega Master System. The battery backup thing was a pretty big deal, too. You have your passport? Yep, you may proceed. Bound from Atavia. Getting on? Uh, think so? Hold on. Um. Okay, yes. I'm sorry, but this is leagues ahead of uh, Dragon Quest. <laughs> I never really got into Dragon Quest, but this is pretty fun. Again, I think part of it is my uh, annoyance with... Uh, um, High fantasy. I have a rare animal here. Would you pay one billion meseta for it? Yeah. You're a liar. No, I would pay it. I just don't have one billion meseta. I see you have a strange pot. Shall I trade the animal for it? Sure. All right, there you go with him. There's Meow. We'll be fellow travelers. I'm Alice. What's your name? I'm Meow. Meow, have you ever heard of a man named Odin? Yes, but he's turned to stone. If he drinks this medicine, he'll be okay. But I cannot open the bottle. I know exactly where he is. Yay! I love that Meow is following me on the world map. <laughs> well, I mean, this is probably the, uh, you know, origin of that. I Siren. But yeah, this also looks a, a crap load better than Final Fantasy 1. I, I agree. I don't need a shit sword. Okay, there's thick fur for uh, Meow there. Diamond armor for 15,000. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Second hand shop we have to purchase. Why would I need to buy a passport here? Do I have to buy a second passport to go back? Otavia's governor and Lassic are not on good terms, it is said. Well, good. I'm not on good terms with Lassic either. Meow. 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 <laughs> this is Paseo, Montavia's capital. It's not possible to pass through Antlion on foot. 
Now I'm sure it's entirely possible to pass through an antlion on foot once you've been eaten by one. The governor loves sweets, I hear. No, I don't have any sweets on me. A gift is needed if you wish to see the governor. Alright, so, again with the sweets. There's a cave called Maharu in a mountain to the north of Paseo. Some intelligent monsters have their own language. Yeah, which is hence the talk spell. Okay. So I could go out and about here, but I'm not going to because no telling how much it would wreck me. So now that we have Meow and um, their special potion, let's go back and uh, rescue Odin. Okay, so Motavia is the one with the weird eccentric orbit. I wonder if, like, the whole place freezes up when it's farther away from the star. Okay. Head on out. I do eventually want to get the um, magic lamp, but until then, I just need to uh, keep blowing funds on the uh, flash. Oh, I didn't need to come here. Fine, everything's fine. Um, go ahead and save. Head down this way. Do, 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 do. Cannot go forward, it's pitch black. Bash. Keep going until I hit the wall. This is a lot smoother um, traversal than the um, than Shining in the Darkness was. Okay, use the Oslin. The bottle cap opens and the contents quietly leak out. Thanks for saving me. I guess if Medusa can stop me, I don't have much hope of killing Lassic, do I? My brother tried, died trying to kill Lassic. Before he died, he told me to seek your help. Is that so? Well, I must not let your brother die unavenged. Why did you try to kill Medusa? Because Medusa has a mystic axe. Unfortunately, she got away from me. <laughs> Anyhow, I've stashed a compass in one of the passages of this cave. Let's go and get it. Alright, so I'm guessing that's the... Uh new treasure chest up at the top there. Yay, I've got a full party now. There's a treasure chest. You found compass. Okay, so that lets us get through that one uh, forest to the south.
Let's head this way. Check out the hospital just so we can uh, record this as a teleport point. Got different town music. Neat. What do you have to buy? Needle gun. Um, I bet he probably already has one. Let me double check that. Odin. Nope, he has an axe. <laughs> well, I mean, that is... Uh, well, that's how they're listed up there. But I, I, I agree, I, I would rather have the cat following, like, either r right behind me or right next to me. Welcome to Epi. Uh, is this where I come if I'm having an anaph anaphylactic shock? Do you know what the hardest, strongest material in our world is? It's my cock! Oh, okay, good day. It's Laconia! Arms made with Laconia are the best to have. I'm not talking about arms made of Laconia. Dr. Luveno had a laboratory in the Gothic forest long ago, it is said. Noah lives on Matavia. The hell is Noah? Someone well known for building a large boat living on a desert world. <laughs> the governor of Matavia might possibly help you well. Yeah, well, I need sweets for him. Are you looking for a dungeon key? Yes. I've hidden a dungeon key in the warehouse in the outskirts of the Kamenite. But I've already been through there. Do we have to talk to him to unlock the fact that it's there? I hate it when that stuff like that happens. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay, don't need to do that, but... Yeah, look at that. All of a sudden, there's another treasure in this dungeon. Yay, dungeon key. Okay, so now there's more stuff we can do in various dungeons. Um... I'm going to need another flash. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Let's head over to that uh, dungeon on the peninsula. Oh! Now we're suddenly getting more enemies as, uh, to fight. I do love that they've made Alice 
a warrior and not just a healer. Actually, she's more like a paladin if, more than anything else. She does have healing abilities. It does kind of feel like that, but it doesn't look like there's enough space in the uh, upper right-hand corner there. Definitely getting more uh, cash dropping now that there are more enemies out and about, so that's good. There we go. A treasure chest. Ah, sad milk all over. Dead by dawn. I'm a little less worried about it now that... Ow! I'm sorry, Meow. A little less worried about these things now that there are more targets, but... I should have been paying attention to Meow's hit points. Dang. Shame Meow didn't survive that. Um... Oh, okay. Let's head back. I don't want to go through an entire dungeon with a character falling farther and farther behind because they're dead. Gold lens? Okay, these guys aren't causing a lot of damage, so... <clears throat> I wonder if these are going to be one of those mobs where, like, they drop a ridiculous amount of uh, cash because they're made of gold. No, I wouldn't say that it's the best version of the game. But, uh... It's another, uh, digital option for playing it. <clears throat> I would say that this is probably the best version of the game. Three hundred and eighty four meseta. Nice. Can someone please help my cat? Yes, I need help. I know Meow is dead. I'm trying to fix. <sighs> Fine. Where do you godless heathens keep your temple? Oh, I see. You're godless heathens. You don't have a temple. Okay. Well, back to Kamenids. Do, 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 do. 
Uh, oh, you know what? You don't have any magic. Okay. All right. Rest well, Infamous. Thanks for dropping by tonight. Okay, now we should be good to take out these owl bears. Nice. Okay. Poor Meow is getting left so far behind, but I need the cash. Alright, I'm gonna see if this will bring Meow back. It does not. Okay. Let's go to the chapel. Some pretty funky church music. Sabras, cabras, sebras, bass. Sea <laughs> bass, he's still around. He's calling for you. Yeah, meow is like really close to leveling up. Nope, we're good. Okay. Um, hold on. Let's save in game. And then item list. Weapon list. There we go. Um, ooh, we could get the needle gun. I like being able to damage all the enemies at once, even though it's less damage in general. Okay, ceramic sh shield and zirconian armor. So we need 2,400 to get those. And then there was the magic lamp for another 1,400. Okay. Um, is this the one that was only a thousand? Or is that in the other town? No, that's the uh, ceramic shield. So, be -de 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 All right, let's head back down into the dungeon. Although, I probably need to get a new flash. Stop picking on my cat. Meow and Odin advanced levels. Oh, well, there we go. All right. Let's buff up. Draconian armor. I mean, granted, now I need to buy a second one.
Okay. Buy another flash. There we go. Now let's go ahead and equip that. To do. Yay. Okay, so that's leather armor. He has iron armor. Okay, good. Well, let's go ahead and sell that leather armor then. Sure. Okay. Back down into the dungeon. I mean, we, we are at least making progress tonight. We got Meow, we got Odin. We're working our way to uh, take out Medusa. Tarantul. Oh, it's dodging a lot of our attacks. <laughs> yeah, do you have any magic? Nope. Okay, hold on. Alice, heal meow. I'm not gonna let her fall again. Damn it. Uh Well, at least that happened before we went into the dungeon. So I didn't waste the flash. I don't know, I'm starting to think I should go to, uh... Go back to Motavia and get that, uh... Thick fur. Because I'm betting. Yeah, defense of 30. 630. Uh... Yeah, okay. Let's do that. <laughs> Meow needs better defense more than. Uh... Odin or Alice right now. Just need one more battle here. I was gonna say, geez, we got like three in short order and now there's nothing. 16 XP. 24 Masetta. Alright, now we've got enough. Good. Alright, let's head down here. Oh crap, this is gonna put us back under. Nope. Hold on. Sorry, Meow. It's for a good cause. It's to make sure you don't die quite so easily next time. Okay. Yes, I have my passport. Apparently, uh, I don't need to have one for Odin. And I can skip that. Good. Do, 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 do. 
Okay. Sold that Laconian pot for a great deal of money. Thanks. Was it a billion Meseta? Yes, I want to buy something. I want to buy that thick fur for my thick cat. Okay. Item. Thick fur. Equip. Meow. I can't even equip it when he's dead? Oh, jeez. <sighs> Fine. All right, let's save and see if we can... Just get the handful of meseta we need to resurrect Meow. Out in the desert. G Scorpy. Yeah, it's kind of ouch, but we're fine. 40 XP. Alice leveled up. 88 Meseta. That should be more than enough. Okay. Yeah, I figured it'd be a more expensive here. Either, unless it's because uh, Meow did level up. What level is Meow? Um, level three. Yeah, so maybe it's like 20 Meseta per level. Alright. Back to Kaminate. Really need to uh, do anything else here right now. Just need to keep an eye on Meow. Although, I forgot to equip the thick fur. Should be fine. Unless I can uh, equip it in mid battle. No. Nope. Yep, we're good. Okay. Yeah, Meow advanced a level. I'd be shocked if uh, Meow didn't advance like two levels. Nope, just the one. Okay. Whip the thick, thick fur. Okay, Meow didn't have anything equipped. So... Yeah, defense went up by 30. <laughs> Should be fine now. Meow. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. 
Okay. Hey, who turned out the lights? Let's go ahead and save right here. Use the Dugan key. Treasure chest. Cola. Not a big fan of cola. But I'll take it. Hello again. Can I talk to you? <laughs> nope. Yay, Meow dodged. You know, I always start my live streams uh, with a one minute commercial while I'm setting up so that we get uh, 20 minutes of uninterrupted uh, no commercials. Obviously, that wears off. Okay, yeah. Meow's doing much better now. <laughs> Fair enough. Yep, I've got a siren behind me. I've got a meow behind me and a meow in my party. Hell yeah, level up. That was only worth 96 Maceta? Jeez. Oh. Empty? Wow, we are uh, falling down several levels here. This is not good. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I want to open it. More cola. Okay. Actually, I should probably use those. Um, I think I'll use it on Meow. Don't feed cola to your cats, kids. Okay. I'm not looking forward to crawling all the way back up all these floors that I've dropped. Treasure chest, yes. Oh, another flash, good. Now I'm very glad that they've reduced the uh, encounter rates. <laughs> Wow, Meow's taking the damage better than Odin is. I 
I guess now that I think on it, Odin's the only one that hasn't gotten the defensive upgrade. Okay, good. We got rid of one of the skeletons. Jeez. There we go. Iron Fang. Ooh, is that an upgrade for Meow? <laughs> Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Equip. Yay! That'll do more damage. Teary. Hi. Come here, you. Oh. <sighs> Double cat. <laughs> okay. Alice, heal, Odin. Um. Should probably do that one more time. I should have bought a uh, teleport item. Definitely regretting that. Oh yeah, it was pretty fun earlier. I was playing with it when I was singing along with the uh, uh, town music. Okay, so we've got a stairwell, but we haven't finished exploring this part yet. Yeah. <laughs> There's a treasure chest. Yes, I want to open it. You found burger. Oh, good. All right, so we've got a free healing item. Um, all right, let's head back. Bear bat. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Yay! Alice advanced the level and learned a spell. Um, which spell would it be? Do do do. Fire, maybe. Let's see here. Exit. Oh! Odin learns Exit at level 6. But he doesn't have any magic points yet. And he wouldn't have any until we get back to town and heal. <laughs> yeah, I probably should, considering how... Uh, Frequently, they've been showing up lately. Thierry's been flexing her paw on my hand. Uh, well, that wasn't worth it. But at least we've cleared out this part of the dungeon, so... Ooh, gold lens. Ninety-six Masetta. Uh, let's give that burger to Meow. 
Meow uses burger. I'm gonna save to another slot. I can only hope that uh, somewhere near the end of this dungeon is a uh, teleport pipe. Why did I say that? I won't say no. <laughs> I'm sure she would. Go ahead and heal yourself. Bye bye, Siren. Figured out? There you go. Jeez. <laughs> Alice is a bit of a beast. Yay, Meow learned a spell. 500 Meseta? Wonderful. Okay, so what's Meow's new spell? Cure. She doesn't have any magic points, but oh well. <laughs> oh, time for Terry to leave too. really should be making my way back up. You know what? I think I will. I, I I should come back to this dungeon later. Um Maybe I'll use this for uh offline grinding. I'm sure there are. I think that's probably where I ran into them first. This has actually been really good for uh, getting cash and XP, though. Just going through this dungeon. And it feels better than just walking back and forth on the world map. There's a treasure chest. Good. Found another flash. And... An evil dead. Okay. Good lord. I'm just wrecking it. Double treasure. Uh, 
Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, uh, having the on-screen map, so nice. Twenty Meseta and an Evil Dead. That'll probably drop another treasure chest. Um, two Evil Dead. Sixty-four Meseta. Fine, I'll take the stairs up. the exit? Yeah, we are. I am going to leave and return. Because we're pretty banged up. And we've got enough cash to uh, buy the uh, next upgrade for Alice. You know what we also have enough cash for? That frickin' lantern. Honestly, we should just do that. We don't have to buy any more flashes. Oh no, wait, that's right. This is the one with the secret. So, I'm trying to remember where it was. Does this tell me? Magic lamp? No. Tells me about it, but not where it is. No, it's on Palma. Is it in the second-hand shop here? Yep, there it is. Gimme. Yes, I also want an escaper. Now I'll sell you my flashes, too. They do. Um, we were talking earlier about how... Uh, so this was apparently um, made in response to, wow, hey, people really thought that Dragon Quest thing was really cool. Let's make a, an RPG for the Sega Master System. And this really kind of puts both Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy to shame. This came out three days after the first Final Fantasy game. <laughs> no, but I do have enough Meseta left over to uh, get a needle gun for Odin. Do, 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 do. We're owl bear exterminators. And yes, I am going to keep doing that from time to time. There was a running gag in uh, Futurama. Gonna make it a running gag here too. 
Yeah, they uh, reduced the encounter rate and uh, increased the um, uh, drops per enemy in this version. So this isn't as bad, although I still almost got killed on my first battle because I ran into a friggin' owl bear. I love how it looks like Meow is just peeking over Odin's shoulder. And yeah, that's one way to do it. Uh, let's see here. Is it this? Yes, I wish to buy the needle gun. Oh, no, I didn't want to buy that, damn it. Oh well. Okay. Item. Needle gun, equip. Odin. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, let's go back to Caminate uh, here. Get him, Odin! Hell yeah! Entirely worth it. Sure, Alice and Meow can one-shot them, but... Uh, <laughs> okay, I eh, might as well just drop in here really quick. Okay, let's sell off some more stuff. Got two iron axes to sell. Now we're good. Okay. Got 20 minutes left. Let's head back to uh, Medusa's dungeon here. Well, saving one. Okay. We made that uh, 1400 stretch a lot farther than otherwise. Or 1700, I guess. I kind of wish you could switch weapons mid-battle, but it doesn't look like that's an option. Because in this case, I think I would rather have um, Odin using his axe. Come to think of it, also, like, for boss battles, that would probably not be very useful. Fishman had a treasure chest. 672, good lord, okay. The sprite is still carrying a sword. I was actually wondering about that. Okay, let's explore the rest of the dungeon level here.
Treasure chest. 20 meseta. Uh, Um, okay, looks like there are a couple more places to search on this level, and then we'll drop down. Yay, Meow leveled up again. Okay, what spells do you have now, Meow? Uh, well, Cure... And terror, I think that is. Uh, yes. Lowers the attack of monsters weaker than you. Interesting. Eh. And then... Odin. Still no spells. What level are you? Eleven. So Odin should get Oh, that's not Odin. That's someone else. Okay. Alice already has her fire spell. Okay. Yeah, this really is the best version now. Um, I mean, there was a uh, an interesting like 3D remake on the PS2, but that was only in Japanese. So this is the best version that's come out in the United States. <laughs> Um, do I want to go all the way up there? No, you know what? I'm going to have to come back this way anyway, and I can just check that on my way out. So let's just go downstairs. Okay. Give me the cash. No, it wasn't empty. It had an arrow in it. All right, let's go over here. Good, that filled in a pleasing chunk of the map. Found cola. Good. Okay. Um, I think that's it for this floor, so let's just drop. I'm barely even looking at the main screen. I'm, I'm focusing on the map here. Okay, so there's no way out of this area without dropping again. And we've already explored everywhere on this level. Doing good. That old Medusa's got to be around here somewhere. be on the floor above us. So we've explored everywhere here and on the other levels except for this one. But 
it's probably a good thing that I decided to flee the dungeon when I did. Now well, let's go this way. Treasure chest. 50 meseta. Okay, I'm going to save because considering that we've uh, reduced the possibilities of where Medusa might be hiding and there's a locked door here. There's a treasure chest. Not even a Medusa in the box. All right. 20 Maseta is really not worth hiding behind a locked door there. Hmm. So there's a green area there on the other side of the stairs that I can't get to right now. Is there another place for me to drop? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I see it now. Go back down these stairs. Now that also seems like a possible hiding place for Medusa, so... Nope. Weird. What the hell? Uh, let's see here. Do 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 do. Reduces cave. Oh, Medusa's cave was the other one where uh, Odin, where we found Odin. Okay, so this actually, uh, <laughs> this wasn't a cave we needed to go through. It was just there for stuff. That's fine. Oh, I bought the wrong item. Okay. No, none of, none of you have the ability to uh, flee dungeons. Okay, well, we'll do it the hard way. I mean, it means we get more XP and Meseta, but... I think uh, once we get back to town, we'll just uh, wrap up for the night. Oh yeah, that's right, there is that one more, uh, one unexplored area up in the upper right-hand corner there. Let's stop by that on our way. It's a dead end, and we all know that treasures love hiding in dead ends. Lovely.
All right. <clears throat> yeah, I do. Another 500 meseta. Be able to get... Uh... Oh! No man that goes into the room in the far corner has ever come out alive. Ah ha 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 ha! What room in the far corner? Oh, what the hell ever. Oh, I bet you they were talking about that uh, area with the uh, frickin' skeleton. Which wasn't that difficult to defeat. It was still a bitch. Okay, was this... I think we are going after the Zirconian Shield? No. Okay, we got the crystals. We got the sword and the armor. We're looking for a shield. Okay. All right, so we've got that. Yeah, pretty sure that's in Kamenate anyway. <laughs> I don't mind. There we go. I actually, uh, one of the YouTubers I was talking to at uh, the Vintage Computer Festival, I told him, you know, I don't know if this is an insult or not, but I, I actually like to have your stuff on in the background while I do other things. And he's like, no, 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 that's awesome. <laughs> There's the, the ceramic shield. Okay. Equip that bitch. Oops. I don't know. Um, the tables there, uh, like, okay, so there's a part of it where you just, like, drop stuff off for people to just pick up if they want it. There are tables there where people sell stuff, but I think those are, like, formal tables. I did actually see um, the the Spark Station IPX there, and uh, got to ask a couple of questions about like what I might need to fix this one up. So uh, I I tried to buy the uh, keyboard and mouse off of him separate, and he's like, eh, I really don't want to give that up separately. And I'm like, I totally understand. <laughs> Okay, um, I think that's probably a good place to quit for tonight. I don't think I'm going to need to do off-screen uh, grinding. We got Alice pleasantly upgraded. Um, we've got a couple more dungeons to go through, so we'll be able to get uh, um, Odin upgraded well enough. So we'll just continue this in two weeks, because next week will be the next... Uh, PlayStation Plus games with gold freebie update. Um, but I am enjoying this and I look forward to coming back to it. Yes, I did that intentionally. Because it's only used for people, uh, for particularly loose-lipped people in stressful situations. Um, I 
Okay, let's let's go ahead and uh, raid Drex. He dropped in earlier today. He's uh, working his way through the Ratchet and Clank series, so he's playing Going Commando right now. Uh, thanks to everybody for dropping by tonight. Always appreciate it. I uh, will see you again next Sunday with uh, PS2 demo disc number 73. But uh, until then, rest well when you do, and enjoy Drax.